we often get asked, what is outbound spam? Well, I'd like to try and explain it this way. Every inbound spam that you receive has to start life somewhere on the internet as an, as an outbound spam. And generally this means that a spammer has taken up residence on someone's network and is sending spam out and somehow it reached you. But the fact is that every one of the 300 billion spam messages that are sent over the internet start out life somewhere as an outbound spam. Another question we're asked is, what kind of problems does outbound spam create? Well, the first one that we encountered was bandwidth. I was really surprised to learn that many ISPs, especially if you look at Asia and Latin America, uh, are actually using up a substantial proportion of their bandwidth sending spam. On some networks, 40% of the customer subscriber bandwidth is being used up sending spam. This is an incredible number. If you think about all of the things that people are doing with the internet these days, whether it's file sharing or YouTube or watching TV, to think that 40% of that bandwidth is spam is just astonishing. So bandwidth is certainly uh, one of the problems that outbound spam creates. Another problem is blacklisting. When, when email receivers notice that your network is sending a lot of spam, they'll block you. Uh, in some cases, actual entire networks get blocked. When that happens, customers' email is, uh, is really dramatically impacted and they call customer support. So outbound spam becomes this major customer support issue. And I think if all you were to do was to take those two things, blacklisting and bandwidth, that alone would be enough reason for any ISP to put in place some kind of outbound spam solution.